Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning to my channel. I am Valerie Malone, life coach and motivational speaker. This channel is designed to for people to ask me a question and I'll give you guys an answer. So I, ha I made a lot of videos about a different topics and variety of subjects that we talked about. And we get our question from uh, my social media. People are asking me a lot of questions. So we get tons of tons of questions every week. I'll pick the most asked question to answer. And today's question came in from Twitter. One of the lovely women asked that she own her own business and wants to know why business owners are always overwhelmed and busy. Uh, this is a great question and I can relate to this question because I am a business owner and I've been a business owner for a long time and I know how you feel and I know how frustrating it can be that um, you work so much and you put so much time and effort on your business and sometimes you feel like what am I doing that my business is um, not doing that good and yet I am so busy all the time. I'm taking time from my family and my friend and myself, but um, the business is not doing good and I am always busy. So I learned in 10 years of owning a business that as a business owner that we do, that makes us overwhelmed and frustrated and takes so much of our time. And I learned that in a hard way so I kind of adjust myself, but I wanted to share this with you guys so you guys can apply it to your business and hopefully it will help you to free some time for yourself and you wouldn't be as overwhelmed as you are right now. So one of the things that I learned in a hard way that when you hire your employee, it's very, very, very important to hire people that are qualified for your business. And I know it's kind of hard to say this because there's a lot of young people that are so talented. They graduate college and they go look for a job and they're trying to get a job and they don't have a lot of experience. So um, as a business owner, we want somebody that has experience. So it's like, should I give this person a job that doesn't have experience or should I hire somebody that have experience? And the people that are looking for a job, well, I don't have an experience, but if you don't give me a job, how am I going to gain experience? So it's kind of catch 22. But I learned this. Whether you're hiring somebody that does have experience or don't have an experience, it's, as, it's our job as a boss to train them, regardless of what. Because I know a lot of talented people out there that they don't even have experience or they don't even have to have experience. But it's very important to take the time, invest the most money on the people that you're hiring. The training period is the most important thing. A lot of businesses hire people. The requirement is that we will train you for two weeks, but some of them, they don't do that. They lack on training their employee for two weeks because we're so busy. Managers are so busy. We hire somebody, the person start the job first day, second day, somebody's with them or even the third day. And then after that, we leave them by themselves. And a lot of workers, even though if they have experience, they get overwhelmed because remember as a human being, nobody likes change changing from one job, going to another job, changing from one office, going to another, that itself can be sometimes overwhelming for anybody, whether you have experience or whether you don't. And we don't realize that. We're saying that, oh, well, this person have experience, so he or she should know what to do. It's very important to take time or tell your manager to take time to train the newcomers because that newcomers, if you train them the way you want them to do, the job needs to be done. It makes it so much easy for yourself and for your company. Because once you train them properly, then you don't have to worry about your business. Then you know that you have a good worker. Then you know that that worker knows what to do when you're not there. Versus if you don't train them, they will get overwhelmed. They don't tell you they're overwhelmed because they want that paycheck. They want to have a job and they just yes you to debt and then the job don't get done. Trust me, I've done both sides. I've been a boss and I used to have a boss. So, and I, for those of you who know me, I went from job to job to job. So there's so many jobs that I went to that they were supposed to train me, they didn't train me. I mean, I knew what to do, but the whole environment was new for me. So when my boss used to come in and say, oh, is this done or is that done? I would be like, yes, but it really wasn't. And I was so overwhelmed. I was overwhelmed myself and every, every time I used to go to work, I was like, oh, another day, I don't know what to do. I have to learn everything. So 
think about it. If your worker is overwhelmed, they're not going to perform good. It will hurt your business and you have to do it yourself or your other worker has to help them. And that takes so much time and so chaos get uh, created. So it's very important to, when you hire somebody, train them properly, take the two weeks, give them a paycheck and make sure they're trained, they know about your business, they know the other workers, they know your um, customers, they know your clients. So that way they can feel comfortable, you can feel comfortable, you can get to know them, they can get to know you and it makes your job so much easier and it will take so much frustration out. The other tip that I learned is very effective that as a uh, business owner, we need to learn is to majority of the time we want to do it all ourselves. Like everything that everybody does, we hired this many people, we paid them, but we do their job because it's our business. And as a business owner, you want your business to run smoothly. So if somebody make a mistake, you fix it. If somebody don't show up, you go there. If somebody didn't feel like to do anything and you just have to constantly go and check on their work to make sure that the work is done. And imagine if you do that with 10 people, 15 people, how time consuming that is. So it's very important to let that thing go and to say to yourself, when I hire people, I want to make sure they know what they're doing. And once they know what they're doing, I'm just going to trust their work and I'm not going to interfere with them anymore. I'm just going to leave them alone, let them do their job. And if they need help, they will come to me. And that's how you have to train your people. Because I have a bunch of young girls that are working for me and they are so talented. And the first thing that I did, I told them, listen, I'm going to, this is your job. This is what you're supposed to do. And if you need anything, you need to go to the manager. And if the manager is not available, you need to come to me. So I don't go around, check on them to see what they're doing because I trust them because I trained them. So now, if I'm not in the office, so if I'm not there, see them 24 hours, see what they're doing, then I don't have to worry about it. If I go on vacation, then I'm going to focus on my vacation. I don't worry about, oh, what's going on in the office. If I have to take a day off, I just take a day off. It took me a long time to learn that, but eventually I did. So now, when I take a day off, I don't worry about my business. I know that the workers that are there, they will do their job. And I know that if they need help, they will come to me. So it's very, very important to tell that to your team. When you hire somebody, tell them, this is how it's going to be. This is your job. This is what you're supposed to do. If you need more time to be trained, we will train you. And then after that, we're just going to leave you and you have to do your job. And if you don't know, or if you need help, you have to come to me. I don't have to constantly keep coming in and checking on your work. So that's why a lot of business people are getting frustrated and don't have a time for themselves. The other thing that I learned that a lot of people don't realize and a lot of business owner, because we have a hardware human, there's three types of workers. There's the bad workers. There's the workers that they do, they come in and they do their job every day. They're reliable. They do as much as you give them. No more, no less. And then there's the excellent workers that are reliable, that are know how to do their work. And on top of that, they go above and beyond and learn more about your business to help you with your business. So you have to recognize those three types of worker. See, I like my bad workers because when they come in, when they don't know what to do, you just fire them. You just tell them, listen, you're not made for this. So that's it. No hard feelings. And you let them go. Your excellent workers, you already know. They're good at their job. They know what they're doing. I trust them. I don't have to even, they even do more than I ask them to do. And when the time comes to give them a raise or if time to, I don't feel bad because I know they're worth it. They're doing their job so great and even more than I ask them to do. The hardest one is the one that are working for you. They're doing just the right amount. They're not doing anything more. They're not doing anything less. So you can't fire them because they're not really bad. But at the same time, they're just there and they're there for years and years and years in the same position and they're just doing their job and that's it. Those are the hardest one to either promote or to fire because they're just still in one place. I don't like that type of worker because I like my workers spontaneous, ambitious, wanted to learn more, tell me because I like to get people's opinion. I like to get my workers, employees opinion. I always ask them. 
What is new? What do you guys, what do you guys think? What should we do to grow the business? Uh, what would help me? What would help you guys? What do I have to do to help you? What do you have to do to help me? So it's kind of like a teamwork. But there are the workers that they don't want to be part of the team. They just come in every day, same time, do the same thing, and then go home and collect the paycheck every week. So avoid those type of workers. So if you get somebody like that and work for you for a couple of months and you see them, they're not really like excited about their work. They're just coming over there to make money. They really don't care about your business as much as you or other team members do. You got to let them go. And trust me, a lot of us have those type of workers, especially in big companies. Because you see, franchise people, McDonald's or a Starbucks or a Burger King, they have a system. They spend a lot of money, they train their people and their people know what they do. So they have a position for them. So if those people coming in and doing the job every single day and not doing anything more, anything less, they really don't care about it because they say, you know what, we're going to hire somebody else. But for small business owners, it's very important who you're hiring. Your worker is your team and your team makes your business. You have to trust your team. You have to know what they're doing. You have to teach them. They have to know what they're doing. You have to have a meeting at least once a week. See how they feel about your business. See how you feel about them. See how they feel about you. So I know we're always busy, but if we can take that time and have a meeting with your workers and get to know in their head, get into their head, see what they're doing, see what they want, it makes your job so much easier and it will give you so much time for yourself. So when you wanted to go on vacation or if you want to take the day off, you don't have to worry about your business. And more importantly, we don't have to be overwhelmed all the time. Because think about it, life is not always about working, 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 working. So yeah, having a business is a good thing, but we have to have a business that run while other people are working for you. That's why they're getting paid for. So these are the stuff, as simple as the stuff, that a lot of bosses don't apply in their business because they hire people, they expect them to do certain stuff, and if it doesn't do good, we go jump in, we try to help them, and then that person never learns. They're doing the same thing over and over again, and then you waste so much time and we get frustrated and the customers are unhappy and the clients are unhappy and you're losing money and that's why it's hard to run a business. But if you can get organized, hire people, train them, make them understand how your business is running, they have to learn that about your business, you have to learn about them. If they're good workers, keep them. If they're okay workers, it's not for you. And if they're bad workers, that easy. You can hire them and then fire them. So that helped me in my business and I hope it helped you guys in your business. Try it. It's simple but very effective. As you guys know, my answers are always simple because it's everyday life. As a human, that's what we do and that's what we think. So let me know how that worked out for you guys. I love to hear from you guys and I have more information about this on my website. For those of you who haven't seen my website, please visit ValerieMalone.com. I write a lot of blogs. Um, uh, for different subjects and different variety of topics. So I hope you guys go there and read and get some information from there. Till next time, have a great day and I'll see you guys next week. Keep sending your questions. Thank you.